Welcome to TechPress, where we simplify tech for your business needs. Today, we're going to be diving into the Google Mutant Center and how you can add your products at it on the 2023. Whether you are a small business owner or an e-commerce marketer, this step-by-step -step guide will help you to showcase your product into Google Shopping. So let's get started. So introduction to Google Mutant. Google Mutant Center is a key tool for online retailers. It allows to upload your store and product data to Google and make it available for Google Shopping and other Google services. This fantastic platform increases your product visibility and drive more traffic to your online store. So let's set up your Google Mutant. First of all, you need a Google Mozilla Center account. So what I wanted to do is to go directly and see the google.com section, go for Google for retail, go for solutions, and here I wanted to go for the sign up totally for free here. So once you click, Indel is going to be sending you into the Mozilla Center and your account should be created right away. In this case, we already have an actual account here. So what I wanted to do is to complete the next step to show your products. So you wanted to verify and claim your website. If you go directly into the overview section, first of all, what I wanted to do is to get started with my business address added, the phone number verification, the online store confirm it, the shipping added, and the sale tax setup completed. You can focus to do that tax. And once you have all your products already been added, what you wanted to do is just to make sure that your store has already been verified. Now creating a product feed. The next step is to create a product feed. This is where you wanted to add all the details about a product which you wanted to list. So you can upload product information manually or throughout a data feed uh, fail here, depending on how many products you do have. So go into products and here what you want to do is to go into all my products. Usually you have, of course, nothing here. So what you wanted to do is to get started with your very first product. So let's go into add products. And let's go for whether you wanted to choose one from a product source or to add new products one by one. So here's the part where you wanted to add your product page for of your online store, the title, the branding, the description, the images here, the price condition availability, the product identifiers, the language, the, all the labels you uh, are not visible to customers into Google, of course, you want to add the custom labels, the appearance product details, if this is for clothing, for example, and then you have the additional product details, for example, if this is another product, if this is like a bundle, if this is energy efficiency class, and uh, lastly, you have the shipping and taxes returns. So when you add your products, you want to include all the details as possible. You want to have high quality images and clear the script to titles are key guys are really key now the product data specifications and requirements here it is really important to adhere the google products data specifications you want to ensure the products comply with the google's policy and requirements to avoid this approval if you focus here into the right part you can see that the image guidelines are best practices here so you wanted to follow all the practices here that appear so you can get the best results and you don't get these approvals of all your products you wanted to check the google guidelines for a specific uh, detail like product categories the gtin and the brand information so once you have set out all your products then we can submit and manage your product once you've added all your products you wanted to submit all of these products so uh, for a feed review you can manage and update your products directly into the merchant center as you can see we have a total of 214 products we have all of them under review and if you see that there's uh, stuff that are not showing, of course, that were not approved, it's going to be period here and needs attention. So text unimaged. For example, here, I have the under review six images in here. So what I wanted to do is to try to fix it. Let's go here for fixed. Pending initial review prevents for showing it into United States. Limit performing here, and you wanted to go for add a brand and either uh, into this product. Let's go here and to edit the brand. And here with the brand, let's choose the title of your brand. It's Express or keep an eye, guys, on your merchant center. 
uh, check out the dashboard when any of these approvals or suggestions for improving your listing. You can see that we have much more than that. We have, for example, shipping and returns, business information, organic stuff, ad campaigns, promotional, and the performance of how it's going to be doing your products inside the Google Merchant Center, guys. And that's how you add products to your Google Merchant Center into the 2023. So there you have it guys, really, really easy stuff here. By following these steps, you'll be able to effectively showcase your products into Google Shopping and attract more customers into your store. If this video was helpful guys, don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up here and to Express for more e-commerce steps. If you have any questions or experience with Google Merchant Center, you can feel free to share them into the comments below. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. Thanks for watching and best of luck with the Google Shopping endeavors. Stay tuned, guys, for more helpful guides and tutorials. See you soon.